Hey Siri. How do I start a YouTube channel? Okay, I found this on the web for how do I start a YouTube channel. Check it out. Right, let's do this. Hi there everyone, my name is Robert and I'm a keen Hungarian angler and content creator. After six amazing years in Scotland, I'm starting my new life and fishing adventure in Australia. And here is my background story from the top. My lifelong love of fishing began as a kid in 1986. My friends and a teacher from, a, uh, from my primary school took me out and I remember I caught a tiny catfish on a meter long bent twig. It wasn't even a fishing rod and a thick mono line and a gigantic hand carved cork float and a big hook. The whole rig was a disaster. So the fish was about five cent meter long or even smaller but it didn't matter because that was the moment when I knew I found an amazing hobby. I was so obsessed. I went to the school every day and I kept my old Diver DAM Shakespeare catalogs in my school bag just in case if I had time to look through them and dream about all of the nice stuff in it, lures, flies, everything. I remember my mum finally bought me a five meter long telescopic pole and a seven foot long two piece lure rod with a coffee grinder reel. The whole setup was so heavy and I used Use them for literally every style of fishing for years. Obviously later on when I had a chance to work as a part-timer next to school I spent all of my income on fishing gear and I started to open my wings as a competition angler. This included competing at national and European level. For instance in 2012 I was fourth on the Hungarian individual feeder fishing ranking. Fishing is the reason I'm even in this content creating videography and the photography space because when I really got into the fishing industry as a fishing shop owner back in the early 2000s. My whole life revolved around fishing. After a couple of years I shut down the fishing shop and started working in marketing for more than 10 years. I've done heaps of studio and on location photography. I was also a photographer and a journalist. I wrote hundreds of articles for several fishing magazines and companies. At the end of the day I just wanted to give more information to my audience and even if most of these articles and videos were mainly paid by the company I work with. I believe they were more than just ads. The social media content creator role at Diver UK was a defining period in my life. I have also had a chance to see firsthand the full manufacturing process of rod making and developing. I believe this extra knowledge is very important in the fishing industry as it has helped me to understand the technology background and to prepare meaningful and interesting content. I started to fish in Australia four years ago. I regularly read articles and listen to the Australian lure fishing podcast from Greg Vino in order to understand the different fishing styles and their market segments. Jesse Rotten helped me a lot. He was showing me around the Port Phillip Bay in Melbourne and some parts of Gippsland too. He's a nice guy and great tournament angler of course. Thanks mate, I really appreciate that effort. Definitely learned heaps from you already. I was always talk to people about fishing. They usually ask me what kind of fishing do you like? You know what? I don't care if I can fish for bream, salmon, snapper or even carp as long as I can see them take my bait or lure. However, I started the light drop sea fishing in Scotland years ago but again that's a very different style of fishing than the Australian one. The venues are different, the sea is different, and of course the species are different too. So I was hesitating about starting this channel. I wasn't sure about the concept for a long time. What is the value or the message I could deliver? What's the channel about? But during this pandemic and lockdown, I had enough time to think about all of these questions. You know, there's always an excuse. Of course, I had some too. My problem was there are heaps more experienced tournament or pleasure angler here to show you how to fish in Australia and obviously they have decades of knowledge in their pockets and that's why their contents are genuine and authentic. Very easy to learn from them. Also there are some YouTube channels with incredible footage and action from the more tropical part of Australia and when I moved to Gippsland, Victoria, I thought this is the wrong end of the country. There's nothing here and I was certainly wrong because Gippsland is beautiful even if it's 
it's not always warm and humid and sunny. Actually, I don't really mind the lack of humidity. So I was thinking and made a research, what kind of fishing available around? Well, literally everything, like river, estuary, sea, or even trout fly fishing, bass fishing, this area has really got me. I've spoken to my wife and friends about YouTube. They said, Listen, Rob, you started fishing 35 years ago. You have 20 odd years experience in the fishing industry, and this includes diver. This is a value. There's no excuse not to start it. So thank you guys. I found it important to make this introduction video before I start my new fishing vlogging stuff. So why am I here? Well, I'm gonna explore Australia with my cameras and fishing gear. And I have also heaps of really fun contents planned in the next couple of months. So keep look out for them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.